Hey guys and welcome to another GIMP Alchemist tutorial. And uh, today we're going to actually be going over something that I like to call the Dexter effect. Now this is an effect that generally involves a lot of white and then red together. And in the case of Dexter it's blood if you haven't already figured that out. <laughs> um, but anyways, you can get this effect fairly easily with Photoshop and GIMP and for those of us who don't have uh, two hundred dollars to spend on Photoshop we're gonna use GIMP of course so let's make like Pulp Fiction and bring out the GIMP for this run now one thing that you gotta keep in mind though is these brushes you gotta find them yourself though I mean I can give you a few links to some good ones if you guys send me a message but it really just depends on what kind of you know shape you want and uh, you can find those just by typing in Google going to uh, GIMP brushes or Photoshop ones because Photoshop brushes also work in GIMP believe it or not so you want to go to new open that up I'm just doing the default size for now and the first thing you want to do is you want to make another layer of course now I've already got mine pre-installed and I'm going to go to my brushes and expand these a little bit make them bigger so I can really get a good look at them hmm. I'm not quite there yet. Ah, here we are. And what you want to do, a good first step is to get your color that you're going to use, like a dark red, and then you want to make your foreground picture. Now, in this case, I was using an effect that involved the um, it being multiple layers, so there's different you know perspectives and areas of focus. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, just with different brushes. Now, in order to get this sort of an effect, as you can see here, it's doing this number. You want to make sure it's under that layer. You want your uh, foreground layer to be the top one. You want to go to Blur and Gaussian Blur. For the background, you want to put it at about like that. And then you want to take this and kind of keep it from colliding with that as much as you can. So we're going to take this over here and there we go and here we have a background really far background and then here's the foreground now you could just go with this right here and then stick with that or you could just you know not even use a background at all if you wanted to print this out and use uh, some kind of an artwork but in this case I'm just kind of doing one on perspective over here now if you're doing the perspective style it's usually good to get another one and do just one little one, not like anything big or you know, like these, but just something small like that. And then go to filters, blur, gaussian blur. Find it on here and make it at about three. And there you have it. You've got this very nice effect right here, and um, it's actually fairly simple to make. But anyways. Uh, in order to install the brushes into your um, GIMP installation, you've got to go through the program files and stuff, and there are sites that tell you how to do it all over the internet. And, um, sorry I haven't made a tutorial in a while, and I'll uh, try and make some more if my schedule opens up. And you guys have a good week, and that concludes this tutorial.